God bless you, ladies and gentlemen, children of the Most High God. Thank you for this um, sermon session today, as today is October the 3rd, I think, 2020 or 4th. I think today is October the 4th, 2020, Saturday, which is the Sabbath of the Lord. And I am going to, the scripture will be taken from Songs of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Songs of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. And we are going to talk about love um the most important commandment is for us to love the lord with all our hearts and all our soul and to love our neighbors as ourselves so that is an important important scripture ladies and gentlemen is for us to love to love jesus christ with a deep intimate love and to love his bride is very important. Like today, you know, I didn't attend the house of the Lord today. I decided to stay home and rest and just relax in the Lord. So I have my days. So I just decided to do that today. Um, however, the scripture is going to be taken from Songs of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Songs of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. So the script, let's go before the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for bringing me here today to um, to preach this sermon today, Heavenly Father, and to teach and to minister unto you, Lord Jesus Christ. I pray and ask, Heavenly Father, that is going to bring in souls to the kingdom of heaven. And I pray that many people will repent for hatred or repent for anything they have done against you, Lord. And I pray that you shift things in the name of God for your glory for your purposes, and for your presence, Lord God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in Jesus Christ's name, amen. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm so happy that you guys are here. And as and I want to thank, do a special thank to all my fans and supporters and all those who support and comment on my ministry. I, so I'm so happy that you guys um, are coming and will be coming in the near future. Hallelujah. So here it goes, and it talks about... <laughs> God gonna give me grace, praise God. Um, yes, He's gonna give us grace when we when we are uh, uh, doing different things for the Lord, when we're preaching the gospel, or when we're doing um, different works for God. God give us a special grace to do it. You understand? Praise the Lord. Okay, y'all see my background, my my closet here. You're not supposed to be seeing my closet. Anyways, <laughs> so let me see if I could put this down here. And like, oh, uh, okay. I think that could work. Yeah, because you know, I want to be comfortable. God wants me to be comfortable. Anyways, so the scripture is um, I said Songs of Solomon, chapter five, verse one. But we're gonna do yeah, we're gonna yeah. That's why I said five. Songs of Solomon, chapter five, verse one. And this is what the scripture says. I am come into my garden, my sister, my spouse. I have gathered my myrrh with my spice. I have eaten my honeycomb with my honey. I have drunk my hat with my. I have drunk my wine with my milk. Eat, O oh friend, drink ye, drink abundantly, O oh beloved. Right. So here it says, in the scriptures, it said, I come into my garden, my sister, my spouse. I have gathered my myrrh with my spice. I have eaten my honeycomb with my honey. I have drank my wine with my milk. Y yeah, eat, O oh friends, drink, yeah, drink abundantly, O oh beloved. So here it's saying that the Lord is speaking to his people. He's speaking to his sisters and brothers. You understand? The Lord in heaven, in heavenly place, in the heavenly realms, he has a garden. And in his garden and upon his land is flown with myrrh, spices, honeycomb, honey, milk, and precious wine. Non-alcoholic non-alcoholic wine it's not it's not wine that uh, that have alcohol it's non-alcoholic wine 
okay so the lord himself is telling his people his special bride the one that he loves you understand that he's told them to come into his garden he said my sister my spouse you understand because at that time solomon was really in love with this shunammite woman you understand and the shunammite woman was his sister as well as his spouse you understand what i'm saying so he's telling her with the abundance of his love to come into his garden you understand because his garden is filled of myrrh trees that flowing the scent of myrrh that is flowing in the air you understand because myrrh is an ancient um herb you understand what i'm saying and that was that is used um for many medicinal properties you understand what i'm saying myrrh is very um especially i'm you know into health and myrrh heals you understand and spices for example clove and and cinnamon cinnamon lowers blood sugar you understand when people drink cinnamon or drink cinnamon, cinnamon pills it lowers the blood sugar and clove clove oil is extremely powerful clove oil is a natural anesthesia clove oil numbs pain so i encourage people to take clove oil especially for tea you know if you have any tooth pain for those who have tooth pain i encourage that to take clove oil and put it on the tooth and it reduces the pain of clove of of of, of you know any pain that you go through your teeth you understand for those who have muscle pain you understand you could take some clove oil you rub it you could rub it with some cream and you just put it on your skin and it's actually as i said it's a natural anesthesia it it, it vaporizes and reduces the pain you understand so i encourage people to to use clove oil you understand or when i'm having my period for example for women who's suffering from cramps um, clove oil with cinnamon is very healthy to um you boil boil it in a tin you drink it because you know when you have your period for ladies you know for those who have cramps a, a warm water or a heating pad is essential to increase the blood flow because the per the reason why women go through cramp is because of blood clots and the blood is not flowing properly you understand down um our you know down the vagina i'm gonna speak through the yeah the blood is not flowing properly down the vagina so because the blood is not flowing down the vagina um it's because it's to the womb i call it the womb is cold so the womb needs to be warm so what you do is you you make some tea with cinnamon and clove if you have like clove buds like clove seeds clove seeds you can use that or even nutmeg oh my gosh nutmeg is, a, is another powerful spice so God stay in my spice you understand so clove um clove buds or nutmeg skin you understand as well as cinnamon reduces cramps for people who are going through premenstrual syndrome so i encourage that um another thing he's talking about is myrrh you know um spices primrose oil you drink the primrose oil pills it's going to reduce um it eliminates um period pain and um, premenstrual syndrome so some people like me i get cramps before my period comes so i take primrose oil and the primrose oil not only um refines the skin and give the person a huge youthful glow but it also um eliminates pain it eliminates pain from the womb so i encourage women to drink primus oil you could get it at puritanspride.com or you could get it at your local pharmacy just the local pharmacy is expensive but the pretty price that comes a little cheaper so i do encourage um women to get a primus oil as well as you could create your tea and they have other reproductive tea like red raspberry um which is a part of um um the garden because he said I, I come into my garden and in the Lord's garden there's healing herbs so there's red raspberry plants and the red raspberry um actually strengthens the uterine walls of a woman's womb so I encourage um women to drink the red raspberry tea and also eat the fruit but the tea itself now for me personally I don't really like hot tea I prefer iced tea you understand so I also give people that uh, variations of getting either um, they, for those who like hot tea, especially those in the States in winter I do encourage teas um, but I'm, I live in the Caribbean so here's very hot so I create ice tea I use a little lemon you understand sometimes I use a little essence from the Caribbean store non-alcoholic essence um, is much better and I use regular brown sugar for those who 
um, can afford it, then they use I. Sometimes when I have, or oh, I use agave, but sometimes the stores don't have agave. So what can I do? I use regular sugar. That's how it is. And when I couldn't afford brown sugar, I use white sugar because the white sugar is two dollars and fifty cents. The brown sugar is um, six dollars. And the agave, they selling it here for nine dollars for a bottle of agave. And sometimes the stores don't even have it. That's to show you. But I use that. And sometimes if I feel like drinking soda, because I really like soda, because actually soda reduces the sparkling part of soda. Actually, we do. It helps with gastrointestinal problems. You understand? So I use sparkling water. You could use sparkling water if you want that little spicy. Um, that little soda flavor so you could create healthy sodas you understand I can I create it sometimes you understand so um, if for those who want it that way you could just use regular water um, also with the water too I, I encourage people to drink rain water I think that's that's the best water to drink is rain water um, some people say distilled water but the waters are so expensive right now or oh, river water but the river water um, it's not really easy to drink because it doesn't have the best taste. Fiji water I really like, but Fiji is very expensive. So um, I really encourage <laughs> um, everyone, for those who want the cheapest way of drinking water, you catch the rainwater in a beautiful bowl, a nice clean bowl. You just put it outside where, not in your spawning, because if you put in your spawning on your roof, your roof may be dirty. So if you could catch the rainwater, from your bone, from sh from your bowl or whatever, straight from the sky. That is the best water to drink. Second is coconut water. It's best water. Third, river water. Um, you don't really. It actually quenches the thirst, so you don't have to drink like four or five bottles of water because the water has so much minerals and potency from the Lord's garden that it is enough to um replenish it and it actually purges the kidneys. You understand? River water, rain water, coconut water, these type of water purges the kidneys. But it's not everybody that could afford river water. The river water is way more expensive. Um, for one case of river water is like um, $9 just for one case. Versus the regular water you get you for $10. Um, and you could buy the bottle. If you buy the big bottle, this is better. Cut a bottle maybe like $3. And then you just make sure you, you, you refill your bottle or you, you, know, you, you drink a drinking cup. Um, um, but the best, honestly, is the rainwater. Rainwater is the best water, and it tastes best. Um, but it's to catch the water in the perfect way and in the best way of catching the water. Cause, and of course, some people say they have acid rain. Yes, they do have acid rain if you live close to a refinery or if you live in close to a chemical plant and they have smoke in the air. But let me tell you something, Jesus Christ purifies the air. Jesus Christ purifies the air and if you want fresh clean rainwater which I, right now we're in a rainy season so I'm gonna catch some rainwater and fill my bottles amen because I want the best water that is gonna purify my skin and increase my beauty so all of that I, I look now I'm, as I said so I'm just reading this because God is telling me about um, um, his garden so the Lord God and have red raspberry. Red raspberry leaves strengthens the womb. I encourage women to to um, to drink red raspberry leaves in iced tea or hot tea, however you wanna, or even soda tea. Soda tea. I call it soda tea by using sparkling mineral water. You understand? Um, or club soda if you want that. You understand? And it's gonna be a healthy soda. Soda is not unhealthy. People make it unhealthy because they don't create nothing. So that's why it's unhealthy because they didn't create nothing. But for those who are creators, like myself, we can create our own healthy sodas. You understand what I'm saying? And no need that to some people have to drink soda, you understand? Um, to remove the, the gastrointestinal intestinal problems. People have gas, they're not eating well. So when they drink that uh, mineral sparkling water or club soda, it really helps them to belch out. And furthermore, I was doing some research on Coca-Cola because... Um, you know, I live in a house and my sister do not like Coca-Cola. Um, the health, many of the health fanatics do not like Coca-Cola. They speak against it and they discourage Coca-Cola. However, upon my research, I found out that majority of the health universities that we go to, because my, I have my bachelor's degree in healthcare management, I'm doing my master's in health administration. Majority of the health universities, ladies and gentlemen, you know what I'm most like, God. The, the funding comes from Coca-Cola company. 
Many of the health scientific researches, majority of the fundings come from Coca-Cola company. Isn't that something? Many of the scholarships and grants that are paying for nurses and doctors to go to school is from a Coca-Cola company. And who is the head of Coca-Cola company? Jesus Christ, of course. Hello, Jesus Christ, hello. He is, he is the head of Coca-Cola company. I love Coca-Cola. I'm sorry, I don't care what nobody's saying. I love it. You understand what I'm saying? Because you know why I like it? Okay, you know why? I'm gonna tell you all why I liked it. Um, I'm gonna share my testimony of when I was suffering financially. And I remember I was thirsty and I had no money to buy a juice. I wanted to buy a organic um, healthy juice. But it cost four dollars and ninety nine cents, and I only had like a dollar or fifty cents in my in my wallet. So I I went to Plaza Extra in the supermarket up east, and one woman come and she told me um, at that time I had no I had purchased no I have to say the truth I had purchased some chicken because I wanted some chicken to eat because I was hungry I didn't eat nothing for the whole day, so I wanted some chicken and salad you understand to eat, so and I had some salad. Um, but I bought some fried chicken. I really love my fried chicken. You understand? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be real with you guys. But I didn't have enough money to purchase water. A couple people say, what did you drink water? I didn't have enough money for water. I didn't have enough money for none of that at that time. And then they were giving out free Diet Coke. Which is Diet Coke is, is, is no sugar. There's no sugar in there. There's no minerals. There's nothing in there. It's just zero. When you go, when you watch a nutritional fact, there's no sugar. There's no sodium. There's nothing. It's basically like you're drinking club soda with, with, you know, that's basically what it is, right? So the lady came and she gave me a free Diet Coke. Cold. <laughs> Do you know how it feels to have no money? And don't have enough finances to purchase a healthy drink. Because the healthy drinks are very expensive. You know, and some of it is our $8.99 for one little bottle of organic juice. $8.99 for organic juice. You understand what I'm saying? In the name of Jesus Christ, we cast out all darkness. $8.99 for, I think there's a juice called Pum. It's 100% organic, but it's $8.99. That's so expensive. I, I, I can't buy that. You know, that's the price of a pair of shoes. <laughs> so, um, they gave me a free diet coke. Praise the Lord. I was so happy. I was so happy. The organic juice didn't give me nothing free. But anyways, I drank it and I and, I, and let me tell you, I felt really faint that day because I didn't eat anything. So my blood sugar, you know, I needed energy. You understand what I'm saying? You gotta do what you gotta do, ladies and gentlemen, if you're hungry. You understand? People talking about candy and cake. Watch here. If that's what's going to help you to get that energy and to survive, I encourage it. However, when God blessed me and um, he gave me, um, I'm eating from the tree of life, praise God. Then he showed me, <laughs> he showed me what to do to um, eat more healthier. You understand what I'm saying? Because my health angels will come and say, okay, no, don't eat that. Don't, no, eat that. You understand? Because he knows that he knows me. He knows his people. You understand? Truth is truth. You understand what I'm saying? So here it says, and I'm eating my honeycomb with my honey. Now I need to eat more honey. Honey, I will tell you something about honey that I love. Like before for singers like myself, before I go and sing, if you drink some honey with some lime or just honey alone, it actually increases the the voice vo vocals. It actually is very healthy for your esophagus and, and for your voice. Um, before, when I was in the choir, right now it's coronavirus, so um, right now everything is shut down still. When I was in the choir, before I go to the choir, I remember they said don't eat or drink before you go to the choir. And it kind of is true, because when you eat and you go and sing, it's a little harder. But I used to drink a little bit of honey, and the honey actually helped my... It helped my voice, so then I was able to sing more clearer. So there is some... I'm healing properties that is in honey. You understand what I'm saying? But honey is so expensive, ladies and gentlemen. I think a bottle of honey right now, I think it's $16 and $12 certain places. Maybe if you get a tiny little bottle, you could get it for like five bucks or, you know. 
but honey is so expensive now we have local honey here we have local honey here one of the bottles is like approximately 12 dollars for a bottle of honey you understand so they making health so expensive they're making healthy things so expensive people who are unable to afford these things will not purchase these things i used to educate my clients about nutrition and i used to give them alternative but i give them the alternative according to the level that they are there's some people only could afford canned foods there's some people who only could afford frozen food there's some people the hierarchy you know canned and frozen and then fresh um vegetables fresh fruits and so forth and then there's another hierarchy organic the hierarchy is farm you understand so it's the hierarchy of getting these things the lowest bottom is those who go only go what a can during hurricane maria we had no choice the place was we had no choice we had to eat whatever that was there we reached to that point and that's everybody you know we had to we ate army food <laughs> you understand we had no choice we had to survive right we had we ate army food in in, in the in the bag right you know <laughs> Which I liked army food. We had we got free army food. You understand? During, after Hurricane Maria. So, but another part of honey is agave. Agave is is plant based. You understand? Which I do encourage, especially people who are diabetics, to use agave and so forth instead of Splendor. However, agave is so expensive. You understand? And sometimes the stores don't even have it. You understand? Is whenever you go, you find it. You you know, my mom used to buy this big gigantic like towel. Um, napkin and she used to buy the best one Kirkland for $27 expensive you understand praise God they stopped bringing it so now she has to buy the small little um, napkins for like $3.99 or $2.99 I'm so happy that's gonna save her like almost $20 praise the Lord you understand so it's not just about living healthy but also being economical and frugal at the same time you understand? Because if you have twenty dollars and you want to go out into the store to buy something healthy, you only go you come at home with only two two items. You understand? A pack of honey and agave is like twenty dollars. That's it. You understand? But I don't I don't I don't you know work that way. So here, um yeah. So here God's in garden. God is I'm encouraging everyone to try to um build a garden. Um to plant in some way or form. I have my little garden that I really need to replenish. Um, my sister have a little garden. Actually, her garden is growing right by my window. I don't know why, but it's right by my window. It's growing. And but however, I'm an indoor gardener. So, but she's an outdoor gardener. So, and I deal with water plants. But the difference is, um, I really have to. It's something that has to be maintained. So, um, my water plants, I have. Um, I have sand. I use sand. You understand? The wise man built his house upon the rock. <laughs> you know it is. So my <laughs> right and sand is actually tiny rocks. But um, I put I put my plants in sand and charcoal because I love water plants and air plants. Now, if you put the plants, because God's talking about garden, and the reason why I encourage people to have an indoor garden because of the photosynthesis that it releases in the atmosphere, you understand? And it also releases oxygen in the atmosphere. So I'm um, encouraging people to have a garden in their homes. Um, however, if you're going to have, you have to purchase, um, for those, you have to purchase indoor plants. But for me personally, you know, um, to purchase plants in, in like places like Home Depot, it's very expensive. So, <laughs> they can be things for me. So, what I do is, um, there's natural plants everywhere. You understand what I'm saying? So, I like to experiment, you understand, and see if plants will survive. Now, I did purchase two plants, you understand what I'm saying? But sometimes you purchase a plant, the plant die. So, what I do, I get free plants because right now the place is green and it's just free. Free plants. God give us beautiful the earth is, is is the is the fullness thereof the earth is the garden of the lord you understand what i'm saying it's not just a little garden the earth the whole earth is the garden and there's certain places that have drought that they really need you know but praise god right now is very green right now it's very green i just love the greenness it's just so the green is so peaceful i just love to see the the greenness of the land it just it represent f fertile it represent um abundance of of greenness it's just so painful so um, I got um, some plants and my plants now I put sand 
in it golden sand so I don't have ordinary sand because I create golden sand you understand my plants my sand have gold and diamonds in the plants because you know you want to make it heavenly you know my theme is always heaven my theme is the, is heaven you know that's the key thing for me and I put charcoal because the charcoal and I, I got that from YouTube the charcoal removes the odor from the from the plants so I used to just do water plants and I, but I had to change the water like every three days and that was a lot of work so I came across a, 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 um, a hidden secret and um, and when I came across this, what they do is they put sand, gravel, and charcoal. The charcoals take out the, the odor. Okay, you know, sometimes when you put plants in, 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 in water, if it doesn't grow roots, it's only going to survive maybe for a week or two weeks. You understand? So what they said is you have to still change the water in the sand, but it's not frequently like if it's only had water. So I create my little sand garden. <laughs> kind of my sun garden. My sister have her garden in the back end and she used um, dirt. She used dirt. I use sand. You understand? So she used dirt to grow her garden. Now I took some of her plants out of her garden and I put it in my garden to see if it survived. And it actually did survive. Um, I have a vine and the vine did survive in the sand. So vines, I find that they do survive in sand as well as in dirt. But however, they survive better in dirt. And I know I don't think I think it's because of the I have them in a bowl. So of course that kind of constricts the plant from really sprouting. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a gigantic bowl and put a bunch of vines in there so it could just take over everywhere. So you know, which I love. I just I just love it. You understand and then I got a tree you understand it was an indoor tree but um, I just got it so let's see if it's gonna survive which is the tree of righteousness and the tree of joy so God says you know I I am come into my garden but my, my garden needs to be replenished so I need to fix it up and add more plants because it's, it's a maintenance that you have to do of course people will say okay they don't want that extra work but it's really beautiful and it does give the room a nice or your house a nice feel you understand so i do encourage people putting natural plants in their homes um some people prefer fake plants but fake plants is does is not really doesn't you know it does not benefit the atmosphere now not about fake plants because it's part of decor but at the same time i do encourage to have real plants to increase the oxygenation in the atmosphere so i encourage that and i i release i impart to everyone who listened to this video the nature of the lord amen um, I'm going to show my little garden. <laughs> it's my tiny little garden, but I'm going to show you guys. So, anyways, yeah, I'm going to turn in and show you guys my little tiny little garden. <laughs> so, but I have to fix it up, you know, because it could be better. So, that's something that God said he come into his garden. Uh, my sister and my spouse. Um, and he said, I have drunk my wine with my milk. You understand? I have drunk my wine with my milk. Um... Another thing to milk. Now, there's many variations of milk people could try. They can try almond milk. Um, I, I like almond milk. But my sister like the unsweetened almond milk. I don't like the unsweetened almond milk. Bro. I don't like that. <laughs> Unless if I'm making a special um, type of drink with the unsweetened almond milk. They, but I really love hazelnut milk. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Um, the Lord always talk about the timing of the Lord, and I also time each hour of the day. You know, two o'clock, one o'clock is time of praise, two o'clock is time of salvation. Three, three, three is Jesus Christ saves you. Amen. So, what I'm saying is that, um, yeah, so I love hazelnut chocolate milk. I really like chocolate milk. Chocolate milk is like my favorite ever. Um, chocolate milk is uh, everything that I like. I just like chocolate you understand but my f actually no chocolate milk is my second favorite my first favorite is strawberry milk so my sister um some people don't really like how i do it i don't have an alternative so i love to take the nesquik because my children love it i take the strawberry nesquik syrup and i put it in the milk and it's just so delicious you understand and milk is calcium and it's really good for your teeth you understand and that's just regular milk now some people drink goat milk i never tried i did try goat milk i think it was too strong i didn't really like goat milk too much um but milk actually helps the bones and it increase 
um, the capillars in your in your legs, and it also <laughs> um, milk also not as not only it gives you potassium but also um, calcium in your bones. It's very important. I do encourage people to drink milk as much as you can. For some people, they're lactose intolerant, like my sister, so they have to drink lactate, which is they have to take out the lactose out of the milk. But I am not lactose intolerant, praise God. So I encourage people to drink milk because of increased bone density, you understand? When my teeth was kind of cracking, and the Lord um, encouraged me to drink milk, you understand? Now, I don't really drink milk like that. I mostly drink milk and cereal or when I have my strawberry milk. You understand, but milk is not really my favorite thing, but I do drink it because it's of potency. Now there's hazelnut milk, there is almond milk, there is rice milk. You understand? Um, rice milk is a little watery for me. Almond milk is okay. I love the sweetened almond milk. There is the coconut milk. I like the real coconut milk. Now that's the milk. That's if anybody asks me, I love to cook with coconut milk. It just enhances the flavor of the food 100% so I just really love coconut milk more than all the mix in the world coconut milk is my favorite because that is the milk that is used and only, not only that coconut milk actually refines the skin brightens the eyes strengthens the teeth it has a high percentage of calcium and potassium and coconut milk also enhances the food flavor so i do encourage everyone to use coconut milk you understand coconut oil oh my gosh how can i forget not forget about coconut oil coconut oil is one of my major beauty secrets coconut oil is refined my skin i put coconut oil every night before i go to bed and i use coconut i if sometimes i even drink it so i'm gonna drink some right now um i drink i'm gonna drink some coconut milk i'm um, coconut oil right now sorry <laughs> And, um, what was I saying again? Yeah, coconut oil. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about milk. Now, the milk is really good for food. I encourage people to use coconut milk in their food. It's really good for digestive system. It increases the bowel movements. You understand? Um, another thing I use to increase my bowel movements, because I use, I, I don't have issues too much with my bowels. Um, when I go to the toilet, if I notice I feel a little constipated, I what I do is I eat a banana, which really helps with my constipation. If I feel constipated, or I drink a herb called cascara. You understand? Cascara actually is like a clean out, is a purge. I do encourage people to purge out their system every day. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I drink cascara. I'm gonna drink one today. So, and also when you drink cascara or you drink coconut milk because they increase and some people use coconut milk mixed with turmeric so that they could um, use the bowel on the toilet on a regular basis then in that way it actually flattens the stomach it reduces the stomach fat you understand cascara as well as coconut milk turmeric and also bananas these for me that's for me it worked that works for me for everybody body is different everybody what they need is different i mean these are what things i do too that works for me and of course god is revealing more other things but um everybody's body different some but some a person may drink eat banana doesn't do anything for them once i eat banana that's it i have to go to the bathroom you understand <laughs> but for me um cascara works perfect some people drink a, a, a type of the slim fast teas that I've been drinking. Actually, what the slim fast teas does, it just brings the person to the bathroom on a more regular basis to um, remove um, any waste or, you know, any waste instead of... Because some people don't use the toilet on a uh, enough. They use the toilet once every two, two, two days, which is not a good thing. Um, we're supposed to have a bowel movement... People say we should have a bowel movement twice, but it's actually dependent on if, how the person eats and how much the person eats, you understand? When I'm fasting, oh my God. Yeah, we didn't talk about fasting and nutrition. Um, that's when I get the most constipated. This is one dream, is my fasting. If I fast for three days and I try to go in the bathroom, that's like bad. I did a three days fast. I went in the toilet. The Lord had to help me. I won't even say the things I had to do just so the, 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 the feces could pass. I did some strange things, but I had to do it. So when I fasted for three days, I didn't eat any food. You understand? 
I only drank water, but it affected my bowel movements. You understand? Because I didn't use my bowel until the third day. So, um, so with fasting is a little different, and that's the reason why I encourage people when they're fasting to use special water. Do not drink regular water on fasting. Use river water, coconut water or rain water when fasting because these type of water has minerals in it. The river water is the best um, for fasting. Um, do not use regular water when fasting. Get river water when you're fasting because the river water has minerals. It gets the, the minerals from the algae um, on the rocks. Okay? And it actually makes you less thirsty. It's much, much better. I, I have experienced fasting with regular water versus river water, and it's so much better to fast with river water. Coconut water is the best, but it's so hard to get. You know, unless if you have a yard full of coconuts. Right now, we had a bunch of coconuts, and Hurricane Maria had took all the coconuts away. But praise God, um, I got two coconuts, you know, and we planted those two coconuts in the backyard. But it's going to take a while to produce coconuts. So all of that is in the woods garden. So when God says he drinks his wine with milk, you understand? So people uh, mix milk. And some people have malt and they put malt. And malt is actually made with barley. You know, people have malt. I like malt. You understand? It's barley. You know, my sister always tells me not to try to um, get drinks that don't have high fructose corn syrup. It's better to get sugar and, and regular sugar, or cane sugar. I do not know. And I'm going to do some research why the companies prefer high fructose corn syrup versus sugar. Um, my uh, perception is that um, high fructose corn syrup is cheaper than sugar um, because they're going in economical, you understand? But I saw high fructose corn syrup in the store, it's not cheap. But maybe in the mainland, which is in the States, it's cheaper than regular sugar. Um, you understand? But high fructose corn syrup is like melted sugar, it's like the same thing. That's what it is. It's just melted sugar. So, but I'm going to go and research on that to make sure that next time when I speak to you guys, I tell you exactly 100% facts. Um, <laughs> so, so he said, I have eaten my honeycomb with my milk. Oh, French drinky, drink abundantly, oh beloved. Now, I, I'm a person, I love juice. I love juice. Not like L-O-V-E. I love juice. I like milk. Milk is not something that I... You know, and yogurt is not something I, I eat yogurt, but it's not something to say that I love a lot. But I eat it, you understand? Um, but juice, I love juice. I remember when I went to Nigeria, and I remember I went to a store with my bedroom, and I remember going to the store with him, and um, you know, I wanted to, I, I got um, some milk and some yogurt, and he did not like that. He was like, oh, milk and yogurt gets people fat. No, it does not get people fat. Fat is because people are sad or because they're not they're not obedient in that they're not obedient, you understand? Um if someone is working out, exercising and, and, and trying, because God said when a person's willing, then it's acceptable to him. Once a person is willing or trying, it's acceptable to God and God can work with that. You understand what I'm saying? So and uh, no. No, most people are slim is because God gave them the gift of happiness. And that's a secret of weight loss. It's, a, it's joy and happiness. I'm telling you all straight up. It's joy and happiness. So if you see people that are overweight or obese, it's because they're sad. It's a spirit, you understand, of obesity, a spirit of sadness. And we have to bind those evil spirits and cast it out perpetually in the name of Jesus Christ. And it's a gift from God. However, those little things that we do in eating and stuff, it, it, it helps a little. I'm telling you all straight up. It helps a little. Because I've been doing a lot of herbal health stuff for years. But things began to shift when God granted me happiness and joy. Do you understand? All these years, they, they, were, they were a point in my life when I was vegetarian. I was a vegetarian. I reached a point that when I was a vegan, but I was not happy, and I and I didn't have no joy. You know, I didn't look the way I looked when I was a vegetarian. I look much better now, eating chicken. That's to show you guys. It's not because of what I ate. It's not because of my own work, but because Jesus Christ had mercy upon me and He granted me joy and happiness. And that is the secret of weight loss. You understand? It's not about food. Food, there's some people are slim, ladies and gentlemen, but yet they go McDonald's every day. 
Yeah, they go to Kentucky every day. They eat pizza every day and they're naturally slim and flat stomach. You have ever wondered why? Right. Because those people are filled with happiness. When someone's happy, they could eat anything. And it does not affect their metabolism at all. Because God supernaturally increases your metabolism. You understand? It supernaturally increases your metabolism by the lightning speed of his light and his glory. And when the metabolism increased overnight, the person lost 10 pounds. Oh, I won't say 10 pounds. Let's say they lose, uh, let's say, I'll say 3 to 4 pounds a night. 3 to 4 pounds a night. I remember I saw for people because I'm a seamstress. And one particular lady told me, you know, she, and I, I could verify it. She tried the skirt, a skirt, we were measuring the skirt. The next day when I tried the skirt for her, the woman looked like she lost two pounds. It had a major space in the skirt and I was like, wow. So I could tell that God increased her metabolism, that every night she lost three to four pounds, no matter what she eats. Because the major secrets of health, ladies and gentlemen, is joy happiness and gladness we have to ask god to fill our bodies with joy and happiness yes i'm giving you all this little education about the garden and and sugars and stuff but that's not the real that's not that's not that's not what help and let me tell you something people listen to people you know what people um uh the church um accept as health they accept looks as health <laughs> it is they don't accept they accept once you look healthy, they presume you're healthy. You have to look healthy. And then they will listen to that individual. And that's the truth. And for someone to look healthy, they have to be filled with the happiness and joy of the Lord. That is the truth. Milk doesn't make nobody fat. Yogurt doesn't make nobody fat. Sugar does not make nobody fat. Drinking soda doesn't make nobody fat. Fat is a result of sin and sadness. That's why we have to repent. I repented for sadness. I repented of being sad. I repented um, um, in telling God I want to take my life when things was going rough. I repented of sadness. I repented for sorrow. I have no reason to sorrow. God gave me life. Hallelujah. You understand? God bless me. I have no reason. You understand? No reason. No matter what nobody tell me or did to me, Jesus Christ is my mere mole. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Dios Christ, Espata, San. Señor, gracias, Señor, Dios bendiga, amen, hallelujah. You understand? The, the Lord, Jesus, Dios, is <laughs> the one who's in my midst, hallelujah, hallelujah. You understand? He is the one that is in my midst. He's the one that is covering me and blessing me. He's the one that gave me this beautiful skin. It did not come by my own works. The Lord, and something the Lord tell me to drink this, do this. Of course, he, he, now he gave me joy and happiness. But he also tells me what herbs to take. He tell me, drink, go ahead and drink coconut oil. Coconut oil is very expensive. Very. In the store is like $26 for a bottle. But God gave me the ability to create my own coconut oil. I know how to make coconut oil. Praise God. Because I'm a creator. I create things. I can create sodas. I can create chocolate. One of my class, I had a class where it was a nutrition class. And one they mandated us to create chocolate. Chocolate is very healthy, by the way. Very, very healthy. I encourage people to eat chocolates in the name of Jesus Christ. Chocolate is made from cocoa. And in here in the Caribbean, we are filled with cocoa. So I created chocolate from the cocoa we have, which is a cocoa plant. You understand? And we use it to make cocoa tea, which is chocolate tea, because we make natural chocolate cocoa here. You understand? So, and one of the... And I got an A in... No, what I, what grade did I get in nutrition? An A or B? I don't know. I think I got an A, right? Um, but one of my thing, One of the mandate for, for the professors for us to create everything from scratch. So I created chocolate. I use I used the cocoa plant and I used um, cocoa powder from the store mixed with honey and 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 um milk or you could use condensed milk and you mix it up you know in um you hot up the honey you hot up the cocoa you hot up the honey then you add the cocoa powder in it and then you put um you could use condensed because the condensed milk have is naturally sweet you don't put sugar you have to put everything has to be liquid because you want the chocolate to be refined and then i added nuts after i blended it, it it turned into a beautiful chocolate nice chocolate and then after that i put nuts in it 
and then I put it in the freezer and it turned into chocolate. Awesome. It almost, I know, it kind of turned into like a chocolate fudge, which I haven't done in a while. You understand? Because, you know, I'm doing so many different things because God gave me that gift to just create everything. So, then, you know, the Bible says I can do all things in Christ who strengthens me. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm just telling you the truth here, where, where true health is and where true beauty comes from, come from Christ. And God is going to give you the ideas of what to do for your skin, for your health. Now, everybody body is the same. You understand? What works for me may not work for you. Some people are allergic to almonds. You know, some people are allergic to hazelnuts, so they can't drink that. My sister is allergic to regular milk because she's lactose intolerant. I am not lactose intolerant, so I can drink milk. It doesn't affect me like if she does. You understand? But eating a lot of bread is not the best for me. You understand? You know, I could eat bread, but the best bread for me to eat is the flattest bread as much as possible. So, but I tried my best to, it's all about self-control and it's all about um, self-control and just eating everything in moderation as much as we can. And as I said in my other video, Jesus Christ sometimes pushed me to eat. But sometimes I forget. Oh, gluten-free. For me, gluten-free is the best for me. For people like my sister or other people, they don't need gluten-free. You understand? Gluten is fine for them. But for me, gluten-free is better for me. If I could get gluten-free rice, gluten-free macaroni, gluten is not the best for me. Just like lactose is not the best for her. So everybody's different. But the true weight loss is from Jesus Christ. The gift of happiness. So I impart to everyone here who is serving Jesus Christ, who loves the Lord, and who wants a deeper intimacy with the Lord. I impart to you the everlasting love of Jesus Christ, the joy of the Lord, and the happiness and gladness of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I impart to you the metabolism of Jesus Christ, that you're going to lose weight five, four, five pounds every night by the power of the living God. Hallelujah. Sorry, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the living God, I increase, I give you the, metal, the power of the metabolic, metabolism of the Lord Jesus Christ. You're going to lose weight four to five pounds every night because it is by the power of God, you understand, that I am the way I am today because I didn't look like this in the past. I'm even amazed by what God has done for me and what he's going to do for me soon to come because he hasn't finished with me because I'm a, I am his, one of his, I am Jesus Christ, I am Jesus Christ's greatest creation, amen, because he's still creating me, because I'm created for him, I'm created as his bride, as his, as his, as his special intimate partner, as his lover, because I'm the lover of Christ, you understand, and I'm in love with him, I am his, his sweetheart, you understand, I am, he's my love, you understand, my love, my sweetheart, he's my everything, you understand, <laughs> So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, you know the most high God, thank you for listening to this help message, which that was not really my plan, but that's how it came out. You understand? So we're going to do sermon health, um, my garden. That is the title of the sermon. So thank you guys for tuning into this sermon session and please receive the increase of metabolism in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the increase of your metabolism. Your metabolism is going to be increased by light and you're going to be losing weight four pounds every night you understand what i'm saying no matter what you eat just 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 but just do everything in self-control and just ask god if that's what he wants for you to do and he's going to definitely show you and, and and tell you what you need to do and um, the lord jesus christ loves you no matter what happened oh most importantly please repent and forgive repent and forgive right god cannot work with an unrepented heart or a heart that have hatred so repent and forgive and then God is gonna come and do wonders in your life so God bless you I love you in the name of Jesus Christ until next time bye